Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. Today we're going to assault the U.S. Embassy, and you guys voted for stealth. Thus making me hate you. We are packing our golden AR for backup, and I only was able to buy two boxes of tranquilizer rounds. I've got 27 shots, and then I have to fall back on murder. As I said, we're going to assault the embassy, and we got some intel for this. Uh, some dossier intel on G22, a map, and dossier info on Sergei Surkov. Turn up anything, Mina? The name Grigori provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well-connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? I've confirmed he's at the American embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Mike, I understand you're going after Surkov. I suppose it's too much to ask to give me some warning before you interrupt my calls. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support. As your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are... considerable. Alright. I could use all the help I can get. Excellent. I have your frequency. I'll contact you when you reach the embassy, and we can go from there. I'll get my gear and head out. Alright. One last thing, Mike. I'd prefer infiltrating the embassy quietly. If things should get difficult, however... I'll be ready. Expecting trouble? Always. Great. What happened? I got cut off. Mina, I think Albatross is going to be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain. But I think we need to reach Surkov now. So this is the embassy, huh? I was hoping for something a little cheerier. There's still no contact from G-22. Do you want to Mike, call them? Mike, this is Albatross. Our surveillance indicates you're at the embassy perimeter. Can you confirm? I'm guessing that feedback means you've cut me off from my handler. I've locked down your signal to keep radio traffic to a minimum. It's a low probability embassy security will pick up our conversation, but I'm worried about other interests. Understood. Has your surveillance picked up anything else? We're checking the embassy grounds now. No sign of hostiles. Yet. All right, let's see what we got at the front door. Embassy guards. Standard issue weapons. According to our intelligence, the embassy hasn't been alerted, so they shouldn't be expecting trouble. Still, approach with caution. Always. All right, approach with caution. I think we can do that. We're going to switch to our track rounds, of course, and then... Cautiously approach the guard with our weapon drawn. This will work. Can we help you, sir? How about this weather, huh? I don't envy you guys having to be outside in this. Got that right. Still, it makes even our break room feel like home because it has heat, you know? I was looking for Sergei. Sergei Surkov. Is he here? <clears throat> Surkov? Yeah, he's working late again, but talking to him is bound to be chillier than being outside. Uh, he's still all stone-faced and unapproachable? To us, maybe. If he's a friend of yours, you might get a warmer reception. He's been kind of an asshole lately. Um, must be having some trouble at home. That's so? Uh, well, if he's here this late, maybe the problem is he's married to work. Well, his new life in the private sector must not be all he thought it would be. A lot different than working for the KGB, you know? I hear you. Maybe I can get him out of his office, cheer him up a bit. Head on in. Tell you what. Break room door is just down the hall if you need some coffee to take off the chill. It's normally for the guards, but swing by if you want. Locks, one, four, zero. Sounds good. And thanks. Success! Now, not only are all of the embassy guards friendly to us, but we got the, uh, password. Whoops. I'm reading a C4 
explosion in your area. The PCI are attacking the building. Great. Any Take idea how many? Enough. Keep focusing on Sirkov. That's where they're heading. Just as I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, we not only got it. Oh, jeez. There goes your arm. Oh, so much for stealth. Well, not only are the guards friendly to us, but he was kind enough to give us the password to several of the uh, keypads in the embassy, so we won't have to hack them. It's a very nice bonus, since I know you love watching me hack stuff. It's taking cover. Hey, pal, make this easy on me and come out, huh? Anyway, the VCI are... Obviously attacking the embassy for some reason. <clears throat> and I guess we have to get to Sirkov before they do, assuming that's where they're going. It's not really explained why they're doing this. I know you're here somewhere. Oh look, we got an upgrade in the difficulty. I'm pretty sure the keypad's maxed out at 10. They might go up to 12. But... Come out, come out wherever you are. You know, it's the same deal. You just memorize what few configurations there are. Fortunately, it's been a while since I uh, saw a level 10 keypad. And we can't go in the bathrooms. It is a good idea to explore the embassy fully because there is a ton of goodies. There's just ammo and boxes and cash strewn about everywhere. I don't know why. I mean, you'd think they'd have their shit together or something. Rather than, oh sure, let's leave a briefcase with $5,000 in it. Just toss it on the floor of the closet over there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Of course, part of the problem with the embassy layout is it's kind of hard to tell from the awareness arrows where people actually are because so many passages have these dog legs to them or go in and out of rooms it can be a little confusing so you kinda have to go slower than you normally would and of course the embassy has a lot of doors that you can't go in. A lot of false affordances. And nothing pisses people off, especially me, more than false affordances. Reinforcements are being deployed. They're repelling from the chopper onto the ledge outside the building. Now, you may be wondering, since the VCI are attacking, and we did have the option to uh, have C as our handler rather than Albatross, what would happen if C was our handler? Because she's the, uh, or one of the leaders of the VCI, sort of. Would the VCI still attack Z? Of course, that'll be answered in our veteran run. I'm assuming that in the veteran run, you're going to want the different option from this, from Alatross. Sir, 
Sarkov is close. I'm picking up his radio. And this door is locked for some reason. But, uh... Oh, crap. Thought we were out of its range. But those things have a surprisingly long range. And they're really annoying. Anyway, there has been some uh, comments in the thread so far about uh, Albatross being Mary Sue. And I am in that boat much more than I'm in the boat that Sis is a Mary Sue. I mean, Sis never really does anything. She doesn't accomplish anything, really. Albatross, on the other hand, is supposed to be this super awesome so covert, even the covert operations don't know about him. Super dude with uh, an army of Sam Fisher clones with tons of nice equipment. And you can apparently hack into any connection anywhere in the world. I guess to be fair that they never really explain Oh crap, this is the problem with using Chain Shot, is once you activate it, you can't move. So if you activate it in the wrong place, you're screwed. And you just wasted a Chain Shot. Oh hey look, it's Sergei. That armor you're wearing, are you one of these terrorists? If you intended to sneak in here, your plan seems to have backfired, judging from the gunfire and the people you've killed. If you are one of the attackers, whatever you're being paid, I can pay more. Turn up the feed. I want to hear his voice clearly. Good. You've got his attention. Now get his cooperation. Surkov, I am not here for your money, only information. But right now, I want to get you out of here, safely. Very well. I do not know who these attackers are, but I do know this embassy. Well done. Let's see what he has to share. The embassy security systems are our problem. The explosion has triggered the automatic security gates. They must be disabled if we want to escape the building. So I need to find the security terminal and then override the codes? Yes, the terminal is upstairs. But in the monitoring room next to us, there is a maintenance ladder. Take the ladder to the main security room upstairs. Unlock the gates. Then I can meet up with you at the courtyard. We don't have much time. And having saved Sergei, sort of, we gain a level. We'll deal with that later. The room Sirkov mentioned should be close by. Once inside, look for a maintenance ladder leading up to the fourth floor. Now you can just go out the way you came, and that previously locked door will be unlocked, and you can just head on up. But if you do that, you'll miss out on some goodies. Goodies are awesome. We love goodies. And we also love dossier intel. But not so much as goodies. Well, I guess it depends on the person. Frankly, I'm hoping to recoup that 20 grand I spent on tranquilizer rounds that are almost spent already. Some of these special ammo things are tranquilizer rounds. That sucks. But heading out this way, we we're collecting goodies and we're gonna find some more enemies. I think. Nope, we're not. I was wrong. Just that turret. And you'll get this little warning screen every time you go Let me see if I can open in. the maintenance hatch by remote. Every time you pass by this ladder, you'll get that little hiccup. I'm sure you love watching this. I'll get used to it. 
Not of EMPs, I believe. If I'm not, I'm saving them for computers. Because guess what? There are more computers. Get some more ammo that's not trank rounds. And yeah, this is... That's where we found Sergei. And we get the next hiccup. Let's put an end to that and go up the ladder. They've deployed several groups on the roof. Be careful. Um, okay, we're not going onto the roof. But, as soon as we come in here, it's gonna spawn a bunch of guards, so we wanna be ready. And go! Make a break for this. Okay, we're hidden. And we just have... Hmm, these guards are supposed to be patrolling. They're supposed to be, like, jogging up toward us. They're just frozen in place. Well, I guess it wouldn't be alpha protocol if there wasn't at least one glitch. And if this is going to be the glitch, I'll be happy. Oh, I got you covered. Oh, now they're moving. I not shoot him in the head? And why did they just kill their own person? These DCI sure don't have any regard for their uh, fellow soldiers. Well, that being done, let's hack this computer. With an EMP, of course. Nice bit of change. And completing an objective. That's always good. You'll want to make sure you hack that computer for reasons that will be revealed later, hopefully, maybe, depending on your votes. The VCI are getting ahead of you, and it looks like they're hacking the embassy systems. If not later on in this playthrough, then later on in the veteran run. Because I'll be damned if I'm not going to show it off at some point in this thread. It's... It involves, anyway. Bravo Squad, moving out. One of the best moments in this game. And I definitely want to highlight that. So if you don't make the right choice this time... Which you're free to do for whatever reason. Then we're doing it right the veteran run. The hell is that? And then you will be sh ashamed of yourselves for not choosing the right option the first time. Why are these VCI guys using melee attacks when I'm way the hell over here? I don't know. Gotta love the uh, quirks, air quote, in the uh, AI. Look, more ammo that's not trank rounds. Me and my three trank rounds. Yep, I'm out of EMP, so you get to watch this. Did it. Security gates unlocked. Now all I have to do is get out Delta of here. Delta here. We're moving out. With Surkoff in the main courtyard. He should be on his way there now. Who's out there? Yep, we just gotta get outside. I got you. Yep, that was the end of our trank rounds. Uh, might as well stick with the pistol for now. Show yourself. Uh, 
don't worry, I'll be showing off the Golden AR later on. Well, there's a terminal here, but there's also some bad guys, and I want to get... They've taken control of the elevators on the upper floors. I'm trying to shut them down and cut off further reinforcements. Yeah, I'd rather get these enemies dealt with before I start hacking a computer. Even if they're running away like cowards. That guy, is he moving? Yeah, he's moving. He's just moving stupidly slow. And he turns around. He's a smart one. He's gonna go check out where I couldn't possibly be. Just to make sure I'm not there. I mean, Thornton has some stupidly awesome superpowers, but he can't bend bullets. Or at least not mid-flight. I'm sure he could, you know, get a pair of pliers and bend the end of a bullet if he wanted to. Once again, I wasted a chain shot because I wanted Shadow Operative. And forgot that I needed to switch to it. I love the, uh, karate chop to the throat. In all its forms. Ah, oh, dossier info on Scarlet Lake. I guess that makes sense. This is a U.S. Embassy, and she is a U.S. citizen who globetrots into dangerous territory. I'm sure they've got uh, some intel on her. Done. But one team slipped through. Cars, who's out there? Sigh. I'd like a... This is getting really it's tedious. Like I'm sorry. One of the things I don't like about this level is that it just goes on and on. Who's out there? Good martial arts there, Michael. Come on out. So now we've got one guy, we've got a uh, arrow or something else. Oh, it's a turret, and guess what? It can spot you. It doesn't really look that way from where you can actually see that arrow. Like I said, they're very confusing. Although the turret did just kill that VCI guy, so thanks turret. Now we're going to reward that turret with death. Not just death, but murder. That's what you get, turret. See, now how the hell did he hear me? And then he summons a friend of his. You know, that's not fair. You're not allowed to shoot people in a chop sake fight. Just for that, I'm gonna murder this other turret, even though it makes no difference to anything in the world. That's what you get shooting me in a chop sake fight. They kill your turrets. Your sweet, innocent turrets. Anyway, there was a weapon mod there, and we want it. The elevator shut down. Look for another way off the floor. Yeah, way to go there, Albatross. Shutting off the elevator to do nothing. I'm picking up VCI transmissions. Looks like reinforcements are entering the embassy. Yep. That stairwell's a one-way trip, so... Obviously, the path to that weapon mod is up here somewhere. Ah, it's through here. 
and this previously locked keypad, which we can now bypass. And for some reason, it's a lot easier to bypass than the other keypads. I guess they decided that the weapon mod they threw out into the hallway in the stairwell was just not as valuable as the coffee in the break room. Maybe they came to that conclusion after they got a visit from Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Who knows? Another loading hiccup. Get more of what I mean when I say this level is too big and too long. And also boring. We can drop down here, but we don't want to. If we do that, we'll miss out on goodies. Precious goodies. Can we dodge this camera? Or we can't go through because it's busted. And another chance to drop down. We still don't want to drop down. The game really wants us to miss out on these goodies. Which are in here. Fortunately, this is just a tumbler lock, so it's going to be a lot quicker and easier to get through. Voila! Goodies! Got some cash. Got another mod over there. This time an armor one. And a computer. Sure, y'all love uh, watching me hack computers. And hey, some Intel on C. And we get a chance to disable the alarm yet again. So yeah, trying to do a no alarm run here is pretty impossible because the guards will trigger the alarm as soon as the VCI bust in, even if you're not tricking them into being your friends and you're sneaking by. Whoa, magic door. Sirkov's at the front door. Provide cover. Don't let him get shot, or this was all for nothing. Tanko Bogey Niner, initiating search. So this is the rooftop where we would have gone if we'd stealth this. Stealth past the uh, guard entryway rather than tricking the guards into liking us. And there was also an option here in the clearinghouse to buy a sniper rifle that drop, which I did not take because I figured, hey, when am I going to be up here? I'm not trying to kill people and I'm not taking this route. So why would I need it? But silly me, here I am, wishing I had it. Now you can, after you collect those goodies, go back and drop down and head out the front door. But there's a glitch associated with that, where if you convince the guards to be your friends, and then you walk out the front door into the courtyard with Sergei, they all suddenly turn hostile, and suddenly you have all the VCI and all the guards trying to kill you. And sometimes even Sergei. Surkov is not loyal, I guess. Something like a slow motion grenade coming at you. Anyway, you have all these VCI, but you really only need to kill the ones with the endurance bars, because those are the uh, mini boss ones, I guess. And that's done. I presume you helped me because I can help you. I'm here to find out what Halbeck's doing in Moscow, Surkov. I've been told you're the man to talk to. Should I be honored? But Halbeck? Why? It's my responsibility to find out what they're doing here in Moscow. Your responsibility? Them. Forgive me, Mr. Thornton, but my understanding was that you are a rogue agent. That doesn't make me any less responsible to my country or to the world, Mr. Surkov. Can you help me? I will, gladly. Halbeck is smuggling weapons through Moscow. Was your country not already aware of this? I'm not sure how much my government really knows. There seems to be protocols in place to blind them to their own actions. Hmm. I do not know who Halbeck's contact is in Moscow, but it will not take me long to find out. I appreciate the cooperation. 
as I appreciate you saving my life, Mr. Thornton. I think our responsibility to our countries is something we see eye to eye on. Glad to hear it, Zirkov. I look forward to hearing from you. And with that, the mission is finally over. We got all the objectives, we got a uh, bit of cash, not enough to cover the Trank rounds I bought. Sad to say. You may notice that the mission summary says we defeated a striker assault vehicle, which we did not. Maybe they realized that would just be a complete rehash of the Shahid fight and cut it. Either way, it only would have prolonged the level and made me even more annoyed by it. So I'm glad it was cut. Meanwhile, we've got 17 AP to spend. We're going to vote in the thread on how to spend them. And we also got that perk. These aren't the agents you're looking for. So let's see what that does. There it is. Oh, reduced cooldown on the two most overpowered abilities in the game. Pretty much. So yeah, that's worth getting. And we'll put those to use possibly next time. I'll see you then.